Hello everyone and welcome to the next in our series of daily origami for YouTube. Today we're going to continue making some traditional origami and we're going to make a uh, kind of a Japanese jacket that's called a happy. Now this particular jacket is usually seen during festivals. They're usually a really pretty blue or sometimes purple colored and they have tend to have like a, a symbol, a crest symbol on them. Um, and a lot of times like the guys that carry the big um, kind of displays for the parades during festivals will wear these. Uh, you see firemen wearing them too. Um, so it's a common sort of image, even in modern Japan. Um, I'm going to be using paper that's 15 by 15 centimeters, and I'll let you guys know the dimensions when we're finished. It can be a really kind of a fun thing to include if you're making sort of a display, uh, seasonal sort of thing like that. Like I said, it's pretty common during the summer when we have our festivals. So um, I'm going to have a nice blue color paper here to start off with. We're going to have our color side facing down. I want to just go ahead and fold my paper in half, both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to fold one way here. And then I'm going to fold the other way and keep it folded in half. And then I'm just going to choose sort of a random amount here to fold up. And, you know, it's about a centimeter. I think, you know, it's pretty good for that. Get it folded up there. Unfold it. And now take the side and fold down to be even with where I just folded. And, you know, depending on how thick you make that is going to change basically what is the equivalent of like the um, width of the shoulders kind of of this when you're done but we'll get both of these guys folded over then I want to take that bottom layer and fold it up go ahead and turn everything over and turn it around so that we get the narrow part down at the bottom and take that top layer and fold it down now to match the other side and you can kind of do that by just matching up these corners first, too. Just make sure you don't fold down too far and cause any edges to tear some of the strain there. Get that part folded over. Then take the top outer edge and bring it rolled down so that it's even with the center here. And I'll do this side, too. Turn it over. And I've got these nice little pocket areas here on the sides. I want to poof open both of those at the same time so that I can bring this part here up to that white edge of that triangle. So I'm just going to start opening things up and smoosh it up, make sure everything gets pulled open as far as it can so that this can come all the way up and we get this nice big rectangle that goes straight across here. Smoosh it down, make a good crease. And if I flip it over, I have my finished uh, jacket. Now to kind of give you an idea, these these um, have this really nice wide square sleeve just like you see here and it's essentially like you know you're you're putting it around kind of like a shawl if you will. Um, if you were using this more as a paper doll you could even kind of poof this out a little bit to allow for the neck space and um, then have it kind of rest around across the shoulders here. But that kind of gives you your completed hoppy. Um, I'm gonna let you guys know the dimensions of this. It's a nice decorative piece for craft and stuff like that. This is seven and a half by seven and a half square. So that's nice. It's half of the dimensions that we used. So it's, um, I like it when origami's math, it makes sense, right? <laughs> that should give you your completed uh, project for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.